What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about Hidden Fates, of course, the biggest set in my opinion uh, in quite some time. Lots of people are struggling to find it, and I mentioned this in my video like that dropped like a couple hours ago, but uh, if you want to get your hands on tins and you're worried about like them running out of stock, uh, and you have a GameStop near you, just go in there and see if you can pre-order it. The way I look at it is you can either try to beat everyone to there, or you can give $5 down for the $20 tin and you still, like, it's not like, uh, then you buy the, you pay for the rest when you get pick it up. But it kind of like just reserves your copy. Um, so in case you missed that video, that would be my recommendation, especially if you're unable to get the pin collections. Uh, on the 6th, this, the new tins will drop and the only thing is you can't say like, oh, I want the Charizard ones. Um, I just pre-ordered some and I was like, they're like, oh yeah, well, if uh, if you call us, we'll try to reserve the ones you want. Um, if I say, give me all Charizard, maybe they won't be able to do that, but they'll probably try to work with you some degree. So uh, just a suggestion, if you, especially if you struggle to get the pin collections. But what we're here to talk about today is the premium collection. Uh, so I feel like those already, this is not exactly uh, breaking news but there's some additional details that at least I wasn't aware, aware of before so I just want to share with you guys as always we're reading on this from pokebeach.com from a post from water Pokemon master all right so um, blah 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 so what what comes in the thing let's jump right into it so we got some really cool promos shining Rayquaza that was a pretty good move just for I feel like for them to bolster like uh, make this a product that is sought after a lot of people have um, kind of mentioned like oh man I'm surprised to give like the bird stained glass birds in the ETB uh, I feel like that's going to really increase sales and I feel like this is their strategy for this one so we got the shining Rayquaza I think this might be the biggest deal for me uh, but then we also have some really cool gold cards we got Lunala and Solgaleo Man, I love these gold cards. Uh, so far, I only got one, and I'm definitely on the hunt for another. Someone out in a comment listed that the pull rate is like one out of a hundred. I'm um, curious, like, if if uh, you can give some further information details about that, because that that's insane. That's a uh, now I'm like, really happy to pull the one I did get. But uh, all right, so we get these three full arts. So there's two different versions. There's the premium, and then the uh, ultra premium. <laughs> Sure, uh, and this is like no, this is not new where they kind of had like the premium, then they had a bigger one that basically had more stuff in it for more money. Uh, so each one comes with this. However, the however the pre premium one comes with a jumbo card, which jumbo card doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, I have like a huge stack of them. I never did anything with any of them. They're kind of cool at the beginning, but then like, right, what do I do with this? One card holder featuring shiny Rayquaza. So you can show off your favorite Pokemon. I have no idea what this is, but I have to say I'm really interested in it. Um, I wonder if it's just like a little stand. I can't imagine, I wouldn't say that this adds a lot of value to the thing. Like, um, actually I think a PSA stand is actually kind of expensive, but I just buy these little like hook, hook things and they're like super cheap. Uh, but here we go, 15 Hidden Fates packs, uh, seven for the premium. Wait, what is it? Premium and ultra premium. <laughs> Uh, but 15 for the Ultra, a collector's box, I'm not sure what this box is, but cool. And then the full size playmat, the full size playmat's actually kind of cool, the premium one will just come with a poster. Uh, playmats, you know, they, they, I wouldn't say they're great, actually the ones that come with Pokemon products I feel like, I like the custom made ones, like a lot of the ones I've had from, uh, I think it's called Stay Classy. Uh, then we have a code card, sure. And so November 15th, that is quite a ways out. And I think, so the whole point of this is to talk about whether or not it's worth it. And one thing to weigh as far as like, there is so much hype because this set just came out in like uh, just under three months from now, like the hype will probably be died down. Um, maybe we'll probably be into like some other set. Uh, and this, you know, I kind of weigh the op, want to weigh the options of is this worth buying and if it is if you think it is like I want to make a suggestion that you do pre-order it like ASAP so as far as prices go so that premium collection reminder has seven packs uh, comes is at 49 or $50 and then the, the jumbo one is a hulking $100 that is so expensive uh, and to be honest like my my uh, straight-up opinion is like oh is it worth that much like 
no, I, I really don't think so. Um, you know, all the other things are basically $5 a pack and months earlier. And the promos, to be honest, I feel like you could probably get the promos. So let's say you, you got like tins or ETVs instead, uh, and you got basically got things at $5 a pack. And then for like these three promos, I kind of doubt that they would be like that expensive. Our promos usually aren't too bad uh, just because you can get them just, you don't have to pull them, you get them with that product. Um, so, you know, I honestly don't think it's a hundred worth a hundred dollars, but um, you know, the whole idea of pre-ordering, sometimes when you pre-order, you pay like months in advance, but you can get it at a cheaper rate. And, you know, I made a big deal about that for the like ETBs and pin collection and the tins. And I want to do that again for, so the place I've been talk, talking about the most is Game Nerds and they do have it. Uh, just go to GameNerds.com, type in Hidden Fates and here it is. So $99, like, is it worth it? To me, absolutely not. But for 76 uh, before like, tax and don't worry about shipping shipping will be free as long as you're in the u.s sorry for everyone in australia like i know this must be painful <laughs> um so yeah i in my opinion if anything is worth it it it's worth it to pre-order to pay msrp i'm not sure if that's worth it so and kind of like everything else in hidden fates for pre-orders for cheap sites like this they'll go fast they won't last you know till release for sure at least for this set uh so if you think it's worth it, I definitely recommend you buy, or you pre-order it. Uh, in my opinion, Game Nerds is probably like going to be the cheapest. I haven't checked a lot of the ones just because I feel like almost always Game Nerds is the best. Um, yeah, I can get behind 75, especially when with with, with 15 packs, it does match that uh, five dollar per pack threshold, and then you get a bunch of other promos. Um, so yeah, it, like I feel like a lot of people are uh, you know frustrated because they can't find any because. You know and then you know they did not pre-order and to me like all right this is this is the this is the time you know to to do so if you want to kind of like ensure you get it but not only that but save 25 percent like that's a huge chunk off that price and in my opinion only at this price is it truly worth it um but yeah pretty cool collection box coming coming our way i'm very curious what this holder is i doubt it'll be worth much and then like a box to hold everything like yeah i mean i can probably fit everything in a shoebox too so I'm, I'm i'm sure it'll be kind of cool but you know to me that's not where like it won't doesn't justify the premium price that you're paying for uh but hey you want you want these uh sick cards although a couple people ask me oh should i just keep stuff sealed and buy singles to be honest like doing that way is probably the best uh way to go about it especially for like uh you know maybe not for like shiny charizard but if you just want the um, the evolutions or something, or you want that Charmander or Charmeleon one, uh, trying to pull it for, from packs versus just buying the single, like probably like uh, many times cheaper. <laughs> so let me know what your thoughts are. You know, what are your thoughts about this crazy priced product? Um, are you gonna pre order? And uh, if you do pre order from Game Nerds, uh, you know, that that's 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 how i'm gonna go about doing it anyway that's it for today guys as always thanks for all the support the channel is kind of like growing at a very fast pace lately and uh i have to you know give you guys all the thanks for all the love you've been showing and uh so yeah thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time did anyone notice this pikachu right here <laughs>